There's been a lot of high-level esports roster trade talk going around over the past couple of weeks. What's up, peeps? How are you doing on this fine dandy morning? Hope you're drinking something. I had a double espresso with the chocolate milk that I've, I've been I've been on that kick lately, guys. But we're talking about high-level trades out there potentially happening the same week where Nade Shot's floating with formal. It's actually Hex returning to stream with a bit of a vibe, and he answered a question out there, which his answer seemed way too obvious, as he said, "Of course." Of course, of course, when asked, would he let Nade Shot return to Optic Gaming? What was the question? How do I read the question? Would you ever let Nade Shot come back to Optic? What kind of dumb, insulting, out of left field? I, I, of course, of course, yeah, duh. Uh, yes, of course. Of course, yeah, that's my, that's, my, that's my bro. Where the fuck's my chaps? And like I said before, this comes the same week where we've had viral clips all over the place of Nade Shot randomly on stream, just being like, Formal, I will give you the keys to the kingdom. I'll let you run LA Thieves Call of Duty. Keep in mind, Optic Formal is a Halo professional player who has partaken in several different esports. And this was like, okay, is he gonna leave Optic? Is he gonna leave Halo? And it sparked all of this ongoing talk. And then in the same week as well, they addressed this on the podcast and Hex also called out Formal on his vlog around this. And Formal's response was like, nah, 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 nah. Nate Shot was flirting with me. I'm not going anywhere. And nobody involved was like fully convinced of what exactly is going on and what Formal would would really want to do obviously the guy has the keys to the kingdom and optic and any team out there i think would be a uh, have, have a nice time having formal be a part of their lineup in a multitude of games and of course when you think of formal you think of people like nade shot you think of brands like optic and names like hex so they had that to talk about i wanted to talk a little bit about this formal back to call of duty and nade shot flagrantly yeah what's like, up let's, with that let's throw a flag on the play uh i'm gonna i'm That's gonna kind of crazy yeah, it's like this guy is like trying to trying to recruit Matt, telling him he's gonna give him the keys to the kingdom and shit. I was like, that's easy to say. Yeah, that's easy to Real say. Real easy to say. <laughs> why? 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 Why do you say give that? Give him the keys to the kingdom. I mean, that means seven figure contract. Fucking no, no, no. Keys to the no, kingdom. No, they can't do that. Nade shot. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Put that shit hype. where your mouth is. You what want him? Her form will huh? be. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, what's up? What? I'm like, I, I approached him yesterday. It's in the vlog. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, what's up? Why are you flirting with Nade shot? He's like, dude, I was just flirting. And I was like, nah, I was like, know, nah. Like, he's I'm like, I know you. He's like, get on a loner and shit. And Matt thinks because he's on his way down here that he can just fucking pick and choose shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what's up, Matt? I mean, what's up, Matt's Both of you motherfuckers. I fucking pressed uh, formal. I was like, what's up with that, man? He's like, he didn't really say much. And then I, <laughs> <laughs> I pressed Matt and I was like, bro, can't you can't take formal, right? We poaching this shit. Yeah, you can't he's on the contract. That's tortious interference. And I was a. Uh, I was saying, he's not leaving, and everyone was like, "You're gonna, you're hold gonna, him back." Yeah, you're gonna hold your friend God back from his right. career. <laughs> like, you made a sweet ass. Yeah, My let's let's <clears throat> send formal out there to contend against us. Fucking dog. Yeah, no, no, of course not. Um, and then all in that same spurt of time, you got Hex randomly answering this question, which I know he doesn't want to be clickbaited or used in, in this way, so that's my apologies. It's a slow news day, and someone randomly goes, hey, would you ever let Nade Shot leave 100 Thieves, the own brand that he left Optic to start, and come back to join Optic Gaming, to which he was like, yeah, that's my bro. Like, of course I would. And then that brings me back to like, the last five to six years of can you imagine because we've talked countless times over the years of all these teams and who they could have had and a long time ago phase at one point they had offered i i believe it was hex to maybe come over when he was going through his his shuffle but they 100 percent also offered someone like nade shot and he he never he never took it instead he starts 100 thieves and now we have three of the biggest brands in esports coming from the Call of Duty scene have now risen up and they're all just flirting with each other. So would Hex welcome Nade Shot back to Optic? He says, of course he would. Will we ever see that? I I don't think so. That wouldn't, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's a fun talking point nonetheless. All things in all, guys, 100 Thieves doing great with Nade Shot now being a full-time streamer yet again, being clipped out the wazoo. Hex and Optic also doing great things content-wise, especially in Call of Duty. We just need to see him in a few more esports, which Hex also talks about on this stream, and I'll save that for another video. All right, thank you guys all for watching. Water and coffee, you already know. What do you think about the topic? And we'll see you back here sometime soon. Take care, y'all.